Hello everyone, I'm Mr. MocaLover and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Kaiserreich, which actually at the time of this recording, I have not played for months. So, there's a new update out at the time of this recording in which we are playing as Romania, I think the first time on this channel for me to play any Romania in any of the mods. As you can tell, everything's on default. There's no historical AI on, but the couple mods that we're using are Player of Peace Conferences, Color Buttons, Color Events, Kaiserreich, and State Transfer Tool Mod. Only five, pretty much the normal things that we normally use, at least on this channel. Kaiserreich Beta Point One Three, a king and his captain. I'm sure I will read everything. Well, we'll see how far we get. Cool, we don't start off with a big army, and actually we start off with quite a few different types of division templates, which is interesting to say the least. I love artillery specialists or officers. Oh, yeah, I love artillery so much. Cool. Let's go ahead and grab the normal stuff. We only have three research slots for now, but by the end of this episode, hopefully we'll have four. Uh, we're going to just build up some more civilian factories for now. Bop, bop, and then maybe bop one right there. Cool. Focus. So, there's going to be a struggle between me, the king, as well as the captain, who wants to take over and create a legionary Romania. Now, I want to go down in this campaign as the Carlist Restoration. Now, we might not get there. We might end up going down the Michael's government route. But I really want to go with the Carlos Restoration, so that some other campaign someday that we play, uh, I eventually do choose Legionary or Romania. So, let's start off with maneuvers in the Carpathians. The Carpathian Mountains split the Romanian people in two, half living within our nation, and the other half under the oppressive boot of Hungarian rule. Article 11 of the Treaty of Bucharest further ceded the passes and surrounding strategic territory to Austria-Hungary, but we know one day these lands will be reclaimed. Large-scale maneuvers on the border will demonstrate our commitment to our co-ethnics. Yes. War support and army XP will be a great thing. We have guns, we have artillery, we're going to need some of this, we're going to need some of that. Where we are going, we might get tanks, but we're not going to make any for now. We definitely need fighters and maybe a little bit of close air support if we can manage to do it. And this division is better than this one because this other one has artillery. And I love artillery, which I'm actually going to emphasize in this campaign. Maybe we can't make that many divisions yet. Motorized. Eh, we might use them. Armor. Let's keep those guys on there too. Only four divisions for now. Do we have a navy? Yes, we do. We actually have a very, very, basically not even a navy. But, you know, it will... Actually, we have four subs. I thought we had eight destroyers. Okay, we've got a couple submarinos. They are... Not complete trash, but pretty close to what we would call complete trash. Uh, oh, what do I do that for? Come back. Yes, thank you. Um, there you go. There we go, that's better. Don't know what I was doing there. Let's make sure... Oh, we need a dockyard. Oh, my goodness. Regardless, let's have a good time. Uh, if you want to read this, I usually read everything here, but this is just a little bit too much for my liking. So, a future for Romania. Cool. Alright, let you guys, let's see. So, eventually, we're going to end up in a conflict with a certain Bulgarian nation. Ooh, me Mechanics of the Great Game. If, I guess we'll read this one, though. There's an additional resource used by both Condreno and the King, Influence. New laws and policies require approval of both the legionary controlled assembly and the king. This forces both parties to make concessions to drive their own agenda. After completing either the, the entrenched party control or lay the seeds for Camarilla, you will unlock a set of decisions to interact with the system from either Condoros or from Carol's point of view. The decision of the political path is the decision to pick a side, and if you manage to keep that side in power after the unification, your nation will be stronger than if it changes control. In addition to the decisions, influence is gained from the political branch of the focus tree, and it is primarily spent on the land reform branch, which requires influence to advance. But beware, your opponent also has their own influence, which gives them more power, enabling many events not necessarily in your advantage. To the victor goes the spoils. And I was trying to say before we were interrupted by a certain thing, and this one here, uh, we need to be prepared, be prepared for Bulgaria. So, as the year 1936 begins, the struggle between the nation's two competing leaders, Carol, King Carol II and Prime Minister Kondra Noel, is entering a new phase. Deadlocked for some time, these two are running out of space to maneuver around each other with growing frequency. They're starting to collide head-on, and it is becoming increasingly difficult to maintain the facade of cooperation as it stands. The king and the captain are both realizing that the time to take uh, each other out for good is approaching. As with the two personalities stand to clash, people will increasingly be forced to pick a side or face the consequences of neutrality alone. I'll stand by Kondro. I think, I'm gonna, like I said earlier, we're going to go with King Carols. He's the rightful ruler of all of Romania. And we have these horsies, which actually are a little different. Uh, I'm going to put you guys right there. You're going to try to spearhead into there. And we shall put on you, Yon. And I'm really going to focus heavily on artillery in this campaign because, well, our field marshal is an artillery officer and specialist, which is good. We can use 
one of these guys, military staff, which is, actually looks really good, less supply consumption, more defense, or more organization, less supply consumption, or more division attack, or you get some bonuses right here, or you get some of this, which looks okay, but if you come over to here, skill of staff maneuver, that's cool. I just don't think we'd be able to support a, a tank industry, so... So let's charge Unification Day, or Uni Union Day. Represents the union of the principalities of Moldova and Wallachia on the 24th of January, 1859, when Alexandru Ion Kuzza was elected as Dominator in both principalities as a way to bypass the ruling that the two cannot unite into a single state. It is regarded as a national holiday in Romania. The people must reject this. Cool. Because we can get Argesenu. Gives you more attack for artillery and defense, and you get to produce it faster. Which, you know what? If you got bonuses, you might as well use those bonuses, right? Exactly. Cool. With you, we're definitely going to go Offensive Doctrine, and this game is going to lag very hard for quite a bit. Uh, Artillery Specialist. Huh. Artillery Ratio. Hmm. Artillery Specialist ex Experience Factor, 100%. Cool. Uh, you might as well grab that first. Let's see, beginning of that. And I do want uh, Electoral Gridlock in France. Interesting. Like I said earlier, it's going to be kind of a laggy game, just going to be honest here, just because uh, well, this game... Kaiserreich is known to be a little laggy. Ooh, I'm going to put this here. Yeah. I really want to emphasize that. But I'm going to pull you guys out because we might eventually end up sending some volunteers to some places. Cool. Let's go ahead and lay the seats for Camarilla. With most of the other political forces in the country having been sidelined, the sole obstacle left in the king's way towards complete royal control is a legionary movement itself. Powerful they may seem, but the king is crafty. And with its acumen for political intrigue, we may successfully put aside our green-coated sledgehammers. Yes. Austrian Empire withdraws from Italy. Okay. Wayne's further. Cool. So we gotta keep an eye on this. We gotta do promise land reform eventually. Right now we have an equilibrium of power. I do like arranging public appearances, which is very good. We need to make sure that we become paternal autocrats, which is gonna be a little difficult to do, but not that difficult. Um Compromise? No. Stability, I like that. Newspaper propaganda is actually not too bad. It gives us an advantage. Uh so discontent. I'm probably gonna just go ahead and do newspaper propaganda for now. Even though I would like enough political power to get down to partial mobilization early on, which would be very good. Actually, be very, very good. Uh, since we're using Mountaineers, we might as well use Leonard. Oh, boy. So, today was a dreadful day for the stock market crash. Uh, Bucharest, as many important banks and corporations, went into a nosedive after the chain reaction that began with the crash of the Berlin stock market. Oh, God. China's exploding. Cool. Many businesses in Romania have been owned by large German and Austrian corporations, which are now in ruins. The unemployment rate has climbed sky high in exports sector has been hit bad after the demand for oil and agricultural products in Central Europe has plummeted. I'm not touching this until it goes by, goes away by itself, because that actually hurts us a little bit more. Yeah, we currently have four, even though it's not bad because we do get 10% more goods back to us, we lose stability and construction speed, so, which is not good. And here comes another event, Gallo seizes control of Ecuador. Ah, well, good luck Ecuador, restoration of democracy in Australasia. For now. <laughs> For now. And I do have a cup of mango Maui tea. Just to keep us nice, warm, and comfortable in these very dreadful months, we'll say. Right now, I do want to make sure that our these guys are doing pretty well. And actually, before I do much else, Cavalry 2 is better than Cavalry 1 because these actually have artillery. So, And before we get too far, let's rename these guys. Cool. Garrisons. Because we are going to need them where we are going. Good. Lay the seeds of Camarilla. Now, we can come over here, which would be nationalization of German cooperations. We could do, give an ultimatum to Bulgaria, but we're not going to do that yet. We're going to not do this one either. We're going to grab that research slot first. So, the Romanian nation has no shortage of bright minds, and in his wisdom, the king recognizes that many of these minds just need an extra ounce of support to achieve their potential. By establishing the Royal Foundation of Arts and Sciences, we will not only gain a reputation as patrons of arts and knowledge, but also increase royal support amongst the ranks of the intelligentsia. Oh, okay. I'll do this again. We go. Electronica. Good, good, good. Even more research speed. Please, please, please. We need. We, we really need that. Camarilla. So we get a little bit more political power for now. We only have 8% uh, stability, but you know what? That's a, a enough percent for us. China has exploded. It's been a while since I've actually played as any China. Hmm. Cool. America. Well, what is America up to? American things. Exploding. Minus 300 political power, maybe. Demand repayment of war debts. <clears throat> hmm. All right, coming to France, led by Leon. Stephen the Tenth elected as Pope. Huh. It's been a while since I've actually seen this. Stephen the Tenth. Are you the cool Pope? The Holy See, Black Monday, helping those in need. 
Uh, reform temporal power. Every time I see the ter term temporal, I always think of the Pokemon Dialga. Because he's like a temporal Pokemon. I don't know. It just when I was growing up, that was in my mind. Anyways. No, that's not bad. I, knew, I do need to play as a Pope someday. Either in Kaiserreich or maybe in Victoria 2. Someday I want to play as a Pope. Cool, cool, cool. And let's keep an eye on this. It says, oh, we actually did the newspaper thing. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Cool. Cool. So, Caprul Monsitoresque Legionnaire. So, the Legionary Workers Corps is con Conjuno's attempt to co opt syndicalist methods and, work and supporters into his ultra nationalist movement. In essence, the Corps is a corporatist association of Romanian workers in a strict hierarchy, similar to the Iron Guard, intending to replace trade unions while it claims to aim for equality of workers and factory owners. It is by large an attempt to attract more urban workers to the, into the Legion and mobilize it as another paramilitary wing to support the movement. Uh, better green than red unions? No, we good. We good, man. Oh, cool. Let's just do it. Let's go get that. Thank you. And we do want to build a navy up, maybe. We'll see what happens with that, though. Uh, we could do all this stuff. We improve King Carol's support. We can do that later, but we need to do nationalization of foreign assets. The Treaty of Bucharest puts significant economic assets under the joint control of Romania and the former Central Powers, or directly in foreign hands. <clears throat> Black Monday has, however, ruined German economic hegemony, and many of our, their assets in Romania are filing for bankruptcy. Now is the time to put them back in the hands of the state and its people to retake control of our own economy. Good. And basically, we're going to have basic machine tools as well. Cool. <clears throat> and I do want to do this one just because we could do this. We could. Actually, I will do this once we get enough command power. Arrange public appearances. That's really good because it gets more king's influence and then more influence of paternal autocracy, which is what we really, really, really want. Promised land reform, which will come up. Come naturally we'll say with the direction we're taking even though there is something else that once we nationalize foreign assets we have to do as well to keep an eye on to make sure that we are economically doing better maybe not great but doing better Good. actually we are lacking artillery which is fine for now we will eventually need a lot of guns or you know it's 500 guns a piece for uh what will happen in the future against hungary to get transylvania but it's also, if you didn't know, with the latest Kaiserreich update, there is a maximum supported division count now, so you can't just spam divisions out as much as you want. Right now, we can have a max of 20, which we only have 13, which is fine. Ooh, who's leading the talk? Or the UOB? Tom. Hmm. Militias. Cool. I could send my volunteer out, this one dude, but we're gonna wait. So, as German banks collapsed, so did the German corporations owning large parts of the Romanian oil industry. The export-based economy of Romania crashed hard after the demand for oil and agricultural products hit the rock bottom in the Reichspack, which has been Romania's main trading partner. Unemployment soared high, sky high, in a fortnight, and our largest bank is on the precipice of collapse. While most non-syndicalist countries simply have to endure the collapse, our government holds a significant control over economical systems. Should we desire so? We could obtain the assets of crashed German cooperations quite cheaply and nationalize the refinery industry, saving thousands of Romanian jobs in the process. This might not be a popular move in Berlin, however, but it would send a strong message about Condro's government and its dedication to the well-being of all Romanians. So enough of Berlin, nationalize them, or continue with continue continue with nationalization, but pay the corporation's modest price. I think that would be good. We lose a little bit of political power, sure. Get a little stability, though and declares trade sanctions, of course. Following the nationalization of the German-owned oil industries, our relations with the Germans have been at the cracking point. Finally, tomorrow, Berlin announced very high tariffs on all Romanian goods entering Middle European markets, effectively shutting us off from their economic area. While this doesn't give us the economic freedom we've been looking for, it is a horrible shock to our already strained exports industry. We have to find new markets quickly to save our economy. Which is what I was talking about, because we need to actually go seeking new markets. But let's go ahead and organize relief work first. The economic crash was one of the last things we needed at the present moment, but fortunately we have been blessed with fertile soil. It may impact us for a while, but with, we can withhold some of the grain that was exported to make our, sure our people do not starve. That'll be good. So this is what I'm talking about. We have to find new markets. We need to make at least two trade deals, which cost us political power, to trade deal with the Russians, Entente in general, the Greeks, or even the Serbs. Hopefully, I'm hoping in this campaign the Serbs like us a lot, because, you know, we like Serbs, right? Unless... Unless you don't, in which we understand. But we like Serbs, yeah. Especially if we have a common enemy here down here. Our end public appearances? Ooh, with 93. Oh, we could get there. We could get there. Mm, early mobilization. I think I'll go with early mobilization first. Just so we can raise our division cap limit. We can get more fuel gain for oil. We get more consumer goods factories to use. And we can also build things 
or build civilian factories 20% faster. So I think that's pretty good. And then we'll maybe arrange public appearances. I'm really, really not too concerned about this whole equilibrium thing because it's not that difficult to get used to. It's 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 pretty straightforward. It's not too difficult, so it's just kind of nice. Let's go and keep training these guys. Thank you. If you're gonna get infantry, put them right there. Thank you. Easy. Union Syndicalista achieves Italian majority. Coup d'état in Siam. And who is leading here? Ivan Boimi. Carl the first. Oh, they have strike school. So even though we've alleviated, alleviated the effects of the economic recession quite effectively, there's still a huge number of unemployed in Romania. The government proposes state funding relief work in the Iron Guard Administrative Labor Corps, while the king wishes to support private industri industrialists to provide relief jobs. While the first option would be assured cure to the unemployment, the proponents of the king's policy argue it would be only a temporary measure, which does not benefit the economy as a whole. Mm-hmm. E economic recovery needs the private sector. Good. Compromise with the land holders. Let's see. We'll spend some of the king's political influence. Uh, sure. Let's do that one. Because we get more political power, too. Redistribution of land cannot be done without an agreement with the land-owning aristocracy. Perhaps we can find a compromise with the great estates. One which satisfies both the landowners and the small farmers. Yes, that'd be good. And actually, we could do that. We can need grass, arrange public appearances. Uh, yeah, we might as well do that one first. And then we'll do this one. So... What's in over China? It's been more than two months since the League of Eight Provinces has ceased to exist and war broke out on the shores of the Yangtze River. With chaos reigning, Poland falls to syndicalism. In eastern China, reliable news has been harder to obtain than ever before. Despite the censorship implemented by the warlords and the Qing government, a young journalist made his way with cleverness and courage through the war-torn lands of the former League to the south, to the mountains of the Fujian base area of the KMT. Uh, cool. So, trying to get news out of China. Kind of difficult. Then again, we got problems of our own, like trying to find new markets, promising some sort of land reform. It's a giant mess, and we want to keep the king here with us. Creation of the international avant-garde, huh? Truly curious. Avant-garde is avant-garde. That's the, way, the best way I can... The best explanation I can give you guys. Avant-garde is mostly avant-garde. And you know what? This mango Maui tea. It's pretty nice. And a luxury afforded to Carol II, of course. Very good. And you know what I like? I like that Carol II is a leader for, well, these two down here. Okay, Germany really doesn't like the Polish Socialist Republic, which is, you know, I'm kind of okay with that. Socialism in our part of Europe? Even though we're not really allied with the Germans. Regardless, there has been multiple attempts to conduct a comprehensive reform of land ownership in Romania after the Weltkrieg. Perhaps the most ambitious attempt to solve the unequal land ownership was the Legionary and Land Reform of 1934, which came to a halt after the wealthy aristocrats asked the king to intervene on their behalf. King Carol II protected the rights of the aristocrats, but he did show Condro his true, true colors. Land reform is still a necessary one, though. Land use in Romanian countryside is both unequal and ineffective, unlikely or unlike the Legionary vision of breaking up large estates, the king cannot rely on such brutish methods. Instead, the government should aim to work with the landholders, not against them. Actual legislative power is in the hands of the legionnaires, though, which will require giving them some influence over the pro reform process. It is our duty to the peasants of this land. Yes. Let's go ahead and do this one. Safeguarding banking sector. Because I don't want to uh, spend more king's political influence right now. Allowing the credit sector to crumble would only lead to a worse economic crisis. As the farmers would be unable to get their money back or pay back their loans, and businesses would fare even worse. The banking sector must be kept afloat so we can have a reserve of money for future projects. Good. Wow, look at all that uh, political power we got. Improve King Carol's influence. Go ahead and do that. That's fine. And more influence. Return autocrats. That's not bad. Uh, oh, it goes German East Indies. And I think this will spend King's blood. We could get more stability, but you know what? Whatever. I don't really care about that. Cross Brotherhood Surge. So, the Brotherhood of the Cross is the youth wing of the Legion of Archangel Michael and has become an increasingly prominent institution among Romanian children recently. Their membership has surged, likely due to how pervasive it has become after numerous recruitment drives and state support. Brotherhoods across the country are helping the Legion grow and will prove to be essential in the long term as it secures future membership into the Guard and organizes the future core of the movement. Well, at least we got stability out of that, or I mean, war support. We got war support out of that. That's not bad. Mm, discontent. That's that's okay. I don't mind getting maybe a little bit more stability down here. Maybe a hundred weekly stability 0. 0.5 for a very long time, which is not bad. Or we can do this. Let's do that. Yes, partial mobilization. Good. Very nice. And it looks like Poland is not having a good time, getting gang banged by the Ukrainians and the Germans, which sounds kind of wild to be honest with you. But that's okay. Radio. Radio. 
Uh, let's get fighters. If we're gonna use an air force, we gotta at least have fighters, right? Very good. Well, so much for uh, Syndicalist Poland. Oh, so the king's mistress, the Romanian Roma family, like every other, has a long history of extramarital affairs and marital uh, infidelity. Oh, sounds like fun. There is, however, an expe expectation of discretion. Scandals are to be avoided, and liaisons terminated should such a scandal occur. The king, however, not only appears to have no discretion whatsoever, but, he indeed, he seems to take great pleasure in publicly flaunting his womanizing lifestyle. Sounds like fun. Cool. It's not like the king can deny her or anything. Belgian Declaration of Independence. Cool. So, the king has long been known as a playboy. Oh. But it's acting differently with his recent mistress. This relationship appears very strong and lasting. Huh. Targeted by the opponents of the king. That's not good. But, Banca de Credit Roman saved. So, after the bankruptcy of the large bank Marmoroche Blanc in 1931, the government created safeguards to prevent such economic catastrophes in the future. The Superior Banking Council was created to regulate and investigate the banking sector in 1934, and the institution has never been more necessary. While banks in many countries crashed hard and fast, the total collapse of the Banca de Credit Rome, Roman was prevented through the SBC safeguards. The, cat the catastrophe, my word that broke the backs of the great international German banks, left the Romanian, Ro Romanian ones surprisingly unharmed. Good eight, good eight, good eight. Actually, before we do anything else, let's take a look. We're autocratic, and they have a weakening grasp. Um, uh, let's see. We will have this to improve influence. Let's go and spend some more political influence with Urban Royal Community, and then we'll do some seeking new markets. It is no secret that Romania suffers from a heavy rural urban divide as the country becomes more and more interconnected with fewer peasants and workers having never met one another this divide is slowly healing further efforts should be spent on bringing people of different regions and backgrounds closer as Romanians form one indivisible nation it sounds like what a lot of nations could learn in today's world but that's okay that's okay you know whatever whatever we don't bring up modern politics on the channel maybe in the discord server but not on the channel mm, national populism yeah I'm gonna wait to do more propaganda stuff I love propaganda when it benefits me. Uh, radio. Let's go ahead and grab this, because I never know when I'm going to send some volunteers. How is this looking? They are not looking good. Belgium joined the Reichspact, the Congress of Arel. Oh, Belgium returns to the world stage. That's kind of cool. I could help out the Germans and East Asians, but they kind of hurt us to fall. Okay, well, there goes Poland. Poland? Poland. Well, now that looks like a, like a nice, very nice Poland. And Belgium is whole. They even own Luxembourg. Wow, Germany, you're very generous. Holy cow. That's actually really nice. Even before the Great War, you didn't even own Luxembourg, but now you do? Man, I'd actually be... If I was Belgium, or if I was Albert I, I'd be really happy then. You're not even a puppet. You are a literal, e relatively equal ally. I'm like, oh, god dang. Wow. Oh, Poland's back. Oh, that sucks. Oh, they didn't take, Germany didn't keep that little dip of pluck. Hey, Frederick Christian. Very cool. Redistributed comp wealth, okay. Monarchist sympathies, and then effects of black. Mmm, one day. Mmm. Well, beacon of the Polish spirit. Well. Where's that? They probably went with uh, a Saxon king, probably. Well, at least now they did, probably. Cool. Promised land reform. Rural urban divide, or urban rural divide. Cool. So it is content. Propaganda. Let's get some more of that. Cool. Time to do this. Seeking new markets while German economic spheres in ruins, there are not many options available for trade deals. But both the R Russian and Entente governments have signaled us other interest in buying Romanian oil and agricultural products to alleviate their own shortages. This is surely a beautiful start of a new friendship. Good. We are trying to find reform. So, the English member of the Romanian parliament and staunch supporter of the legionary movement, Mihai Stelescu, had quickly risen in the ranks of the movement. He is, in many ways, the very example of the legionary his captain desired. Radical, bold, and staunchly nationalistic. However, he had gathered his share of enemies during the, his fast promotion to the ranks of the Guard into becoming one of the Condrino's lieutenants. As such, many within the Legion are at least suspicious of the young leader, and some even doubt his loyalty to the captain. Regardless, the whispers are enough to have gotten the attention of royalist agents who are more than eager to exploit any cracks in the seemingly monolithic Iron Guards. Perhaps we should send this man King's regards. Cool, we'll see what happens we can do with this guy. So, ties with Stelescu. A man claiming to work in the King's name arranged a clandestine meeting with Mikhail, approaching the young... A legionnaire with an offer of support. The king would gladly support his ambitions against Condrenu, still as Scoo was told, and so the deal was struck. One that might eventually bring down Condrenu's cult of personality. Find him discreetly. Speak openly for him. Um, this is, seems like a bad idea, but let's, 
fund him? I guess, yeah, why not? We'll see what happens. We're spending a lot of money on my extramarital affair orders, so, you know, what's a few more dollars gone, right? And maybe this is going to a better cause than me having tons of extramarital affairs, you know? Good times all around. Hmm. Oh, Jack Reed, uh-oh. Oh, boy. Oh, boy, America, you're not looking good. You're not looking good, America. Well, you're still looking good right now, but give it time. Fung the Maglatvit Monastery. I think I might try to do that one. Because this other stuff, it doesn't really help us with anything. Uh-oh. Yeah. So autocratic. Well, I'm glad I didn't help with the Germans. And this is demilitarized, eh? Very cool. I love these short focuses. 35 days, 42 days, even 56 days. It ain't bad, man. Norway joined Third International. Thank you. Actually, that's not too bad, even though we definitely need a dockyard. And I'm not exactly sure... When we go to war with Bulgaria, that's going to not be a super easy war, but it's not going to be a super difficult war, from what I've tried. Petar. Huh. Liberal victory in Brazil. Well, at least there's no civil war yet. Black Monday invested in that's me, Serbia. I've only played in Serbia once, and that was in the Great War Redux mod. This is different than what I remember. This is definitely different from what I remember from the Kaiserreich Serbian Treaty. Um, together against Austria. Cool. Balkan Initiative. Education Reform. Encourage Yugoslavism? I'm not sure which way they went. I think they went with the uh, Vojvodina stands tall, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea. Cool. But, right now, since we did that, we can export more than grain, which would be kind of nice. Uh, let's see. Ooh, high society. Ooh, we can spend this. We can spend our influence to get more political power, which is okay. I prefer this one, but let's go ahead and get some trading negotiations. Let's do it with the Russian Republic, since... Oh, well, maybe not, since we don't actually border them. Maybe we will. Let's do Serbia. I like Serbia. Let's do Serbs. Let's do Serbs. Um, connecting the countryside. Let's do that one first. So, not only are rural regions largely disconnected from urban areas, but they're also disconnected from other rural regions. Connecting the country will bring the people closer together, but this will require significant investment in infrastructure and construction in general. These investments, however, will also drive the economy forward by creating numerous jobs. But are they sustainable jobs? That's a good question. Maybe. Maybe. You never know. Oh, man. Look at that manpower. Oh, my goodness. That's not looking good. Mm. Now, we might be able to get peace. Oh, tariff agreement with Serbia! The Serbian government happily agreed to our trade agreement offer. Low tariffs will ensure that our strong trade relationship endures despite the crisis and reduce our dependence on the German Germanic Bulgarian hegemony. God, I love the Serbs. Ooh, blood on the streets, though. Paramilitary violence has become increasingly common as Iron Guard grew in prominence and numbers. While political opposition hasn't been going down quietly since the Kondranu became Prime Minister, no other political group has been able to organize as ruthless a paramilitary as the Legion's Iron Guard, and their attacks on dissidents have largely been one-sided unless security forces intervene, and they largely didn't. Stomping their violence and dispersing the armed men will be a costly affair, but even if it helps bring peace in the streets... Besides, their thuggery has been handy to keep opposition to both the king and government weak. Enemies of the nation. The law must be obeyed. Go and do that. I don't like doing that, but that's okay. Uh, let's do Greece, because we might do something really well with the Greeks. Since we might form a pact that from that might be based in Belgrade eventually. Maybe. We'll see what happens. You never know. Because I do want to get rid of this thing. Because you can lose stability. You do lose popular national populism. Remove national spirit of recovering economy. You get recovering economy. Which gives you less stability and construction speed. And if we do well, though, we do get more popularity of paternal autocrats. So... Tariff agreement with Greece. The Greek government was pleased by our mutually beneficial trade agreement and have accepted our offer. Low tariffs will be sure that we maintain a healthy trade relationship through the crisis. Boom. There we go. We did it. That was easy. I told you, it's not that bad. It's pretty good, right? Italian democracy survives. Great. We no longer are hurt by German economic and Bulgarian economic uh, overlordship. So we're doing really well. Uh, autocracy. Hmm, stability. It's not bad. I kind of want to wait, though. To work totally autocratic, and they... Kondranu's government is just merely noisy opposition. But happy 1937, my friends. Serbia... Ah, okay. Cool. Serbia. Congrats on the king. He looks handsome. I'll say, I'm going to say he looks handsome. He looks really cool in that picture. That's all I'm going to say about that. Uh, We could do that, but we're going to need more output. We need a lot of guns. But the way to save on guns is to use less manpower and infantry. Iron Guard expands. Membership into the Legion of Arch 
Angel Michael, has heard recently thanks to Country News' recent successes and populist rhetoric. It's clear that his movement is more attractive to common Romanians regardless of the captain's demagoguery, hurting the king's reputation and popularity in the process. Yeah, oh well. So you guys are the normal ones. I'm going to go ahead and convert you guys to this. Actually, you know what? Screw it. Just convert them all for now. That's fine. I really don't like this type of division here. Oh, is that it? Oh, it's using the garrison template. Oh, that sucks. But let's connect the countryside. God, like I said before, Kaiserreich is laggy. It's only just the beginning of 19... Excuse me, 1937. Uh, we could probably do this already. Foster Romanian industry. Romania will only become a modern country when its industry is developed to a level equivalent to other Western nations of its size. The king wants to subsidize industry even more to achieve the end, this end, in order to create an industry worthy of a nation. It does or will cost us some more... Uh, King's own influence, but that's okay. And Union Day, once again, is here. Great. Range public appearances? Yes. That's one I love a lot. You know what? Let's do this one. Just because we like monasteries, right? Monasteries are nice places to visit. Maybe they might charge us uh, a fee to get in, but that's okay. Cool. Ah, so Serbia. I sent us an invite to our diplomat to Belgrade to take part in the Belgrade Congress, so that we may discuss the political and military situation in the Balkans since the victory of the Bulgarians in the Velkrieg, we have had our eyes on a land that is rightfully ours, as does Serbia. We, they suggest we form a new formal alliance called the Belgrade Pact to protect our mutual interests and contain the Bulgarian menace. This could, however, anger Bulgaria's former allies, Germany, Austria, and the Ottoman Empire. Announce our support for the Belgrade Pact? Of course we will. Of course, my friends. Hmm, that actually didn't hurt our artillery too bad and didn't give us that much more infantry equipment, though. Radio detection is always nice. Come over here and do that. Thank you. Because you guys are all... Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, it I went the wrong way. Whoopsie. Should be this one. Right? Wait, hold on. Cancel. Division 1. Division 2. All of these folks should be Division 2. Alright? Or something's going on here. Oh, they, they must already be Division 2. Okay. Oh, God. We need more manpower. Mm, I don't like that. There you go. Good luck. Just in case... Oh, they're almost done. We can wait, probably. They're almost done. You know what? I'm going to throw you guys here probably together. Throw them under here so we can just smash over here. Take out Constanza first. That would probably be best. Smear campaign against... Lupescu, the king's mistress, Magda, has recently been, recently been targeted by Legion-aligned papers across Romania in a rather obvious attempt to smear her name. The expose describes the Jewish ho as the power behind the throne, accusing her of manipulating Carol and subverting Kondrino's government, especially regarding his land reform program. program. The Jewish origins of her parents are emphasized in order to demonize her in the eyes of an increasingly anti-Semitic public and place her as a centerpiece of an anti-Romanian conspiracy. The king is absolutely livid, to say the least, and the campaign could very well cause a public split between him and his prime minister. Perhaps you should keep a low profile? Hmm. A Jewish extramarital affair? Man. That sounds kind of wild, not going to lie. You got me really interested now. The Bulgarian government refused an ultimatum of Serbia to hand over all territories they seized from us and our allies during the Valkyrie with no other option. Uh, the Serbian government has declared war as we are part of the Belgrade Pact. We need to come into their aid, though we will face if, uh, resistance, Bulgarian resistance. The Belgrade Pact surely will emerge victorious from this new conflict. Cool. We will join as soon as we get a little more organization for all of our soldiers. Uh, we need this one too. Cool. Give me just a little bit of time. Okay, good enough. Go, go, go. My goal, take all three of you, come down here, and you get over here. Cut these guys off completely. The fourth block and wall together for victory. Go, go, go. Get in there. Cross the river. And we don't even have to do the cross the Danube. Yeah, there's no point to even do this if Serbia's going to go to war anyway, so. Yep, so my bad. Uh, let's see. Recruit monarchist. Yes, that would actually probably be pretty good. Or we could go to war economy immediately. I'm going to go with war economy. We're still strong autocrats, so. And we have arranged public appearances, which will help us and fund this, which is nice. Move, move, move. Conjuno stands by his men. Unwilling to be humiliated by the king, the captain refuses to apologize. Standing by his men's actions against Madame 
Magdab. For now, the crisis continues, threatening stability in the fragile alliance between the Legionnaires and Royalists. Suppressive publications. Tell the truth, even if the king does not like it. Battle of the wills. Um, suppressive publications. Why not? Good. We broke over the river. The pact at war. Now that we are at war, we need to stand shoulder to shoulder with Serbia. No quick surrender? No, sir. Good. We have cut them off. Immediately. Go ahead and crush these guys here, then. Crush them. And actually, you guys probably should not be doing this right now. And instead, do that. There you go. Good luck. If we can find convoys to kill, let's hope so. There's some serious lag. Stand up in America. Ah, that's why. You know what? If that's the case, do this. Just go around them. Battle of the Wales, a crisis between King Carol II and Captain Congenou, as you see, reach a breaking point as they have spilled over into, into Parliament. In the struggle between the two leaders over the Magda smear campaign, Carol finally threatened to sack Congenou and replace him, prompting the captain to finally give in to the king's demands. However, the damage has already been done, and both men claim victory over the other. For Congenou was forced to stand down, but not without a fight for his men. Uh, for the sake of the nation, punishing will just make the king look foolish. Um, right now, we can afford this. Let's do that one. Has to give in. Oh, no, wait, this one. No, we might want to do this. Uh -huh. For the sake of the nation, let's not do go too crazy. Yeah, let's do this one. That's okay. We can deal with this. We can. I promise. Encircle. Just do not get encircled ourselves. Good. Uh-oh. Oh, boy. Just hold on for now. We're slowly getting these guys under wraps. China is capitulating to itself. Good. Varna that would be good. We could take Burgas, but it's going to take a while to do. Come on, guys. You got this. Ooh, the Bulgarians are doing pretty well against the Greeks. Oh, what the heck are you doing? Boss Romanian industry, cool. And do prosperity for all. For too long, the average Romania has seen little to no improvement to their condition despite its wealth and growth. With the reforms taking shape, more and more Romanians will be affected by economic developments and growth. In the future, the whole nation, not just the wealthy landowners and plutocrats, will actually feel Romania's growing prosperity and become a beacon for other nations to follow. The King's Land Reform, which would be great, rural infrastructure, and awesomeness. Alright, come on, up, come on up here and help out, actually. Good, we've almost gotten this one done. Cut these guys off, which really didn't matter to me too much. Help out, help out, help out. Immediately attack, immediately get rid of them. If we can. Just don't let them rescue these guys. Come on, kill off that horse division. Because we probably have the best border with Bulgaria compared to our allies, so... Beautiful. Kill these guys off, come on, take the port, take the port. They can kill these guys off, and then we can continue fighting down here. Good. Help, help, help. The faster we move, the better. Alright, if they want to do that, come here, and then just go that way, since we're taking Varna anyways. Good. Very good, my friends. Up out, destroy them. We're doing really well. Well, not over here, but over here, we're doing pretty okay. Nijd was capitulated. Okay, that's fine. You hold on. You hold on. Oh, Ravanchis rally. So, Ravanchism has become a permanent fixture in Romanian politics. No political movement, moderate or radical, can avoid it, and opposing it has led to horrible consequences for the politicians perceived as traitors. traitors. In recent years, the Iron Guard has embodied Romania's Ravanchist spirit and has been shamelessly fueling it in the rhetoric. Because of it, Ravanchis rallies have become intimately tied with the Legion, where they've been able to thrive, restraining these rallies would prove co costly, unpopular affairs, even if it would limit the guards' influence and provision. Everything for the country, the agitator should be restrained, that's fine. Whatever, I don't really care. Uh, has a set of contacts, so discontent. Compromise, I will not compromise. Um, we could use maybe a little bit more of this, that wouldn't be bad. Mm, free trade, get more, let's go to extensive conscription, so. Beautiful, we actually went over here. How many men have we killed? 68,000, not bad. We've lost 11,000, the most out of any nation so far. But I'd probably say so far it's worth it. Good. Good. Go ahead and stop this. You all stop. You stop. Now we can concentrate our forces even more. And now it's just like spend guys. Oh, there goes the second American Civil War. Uh, did Bul did the Ottoman Empire take this from Bulgaria? They might have already, huh? Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and try to spearhead through here or right here. Didn't really matter. Conscription crisis in Quebec. 
Makes sense. See what happens. Go ahead and move down. Good. And you can do it down there. That'd be great. Vargas. Good. Come on, you guys can help out as well. And I will end the episode once we hopefully finish off Bulgaria. This is a very long episode. I almost never choose or make episodes this long for the first episode, but since this is Kaiserreich, I might as well. Oh, good, good. Alright, so since you guys are special forces, kind of. Blood. That'd be nice. Oh, let's actually grab some more steel, too. Coming to France, Russian Empire. Just get one for now. There you go. That should help out a little bit. India's on fire, which is fine with me. Do we have any, how many spare resources do we have? Uh, artillery. Knock you up out those guys, thank you. Puerto Rico, American Union State, awesome. And let's go smashing. And then once you're done, you get over there, just go to flood. So we can circle these two divisions. Uh, it's not bad what they're doing. The fall of Boston, Athens of... Hold on, Boston? Oh, so the New England area did not join Canada. That is different. That's usually, in my, at least my games, pretty darn different for us. Prosperity for all, cool. Uh, maybe I lied, maybe we'll just end it here for this campaign. For this, not this campaign, this episode. Uh, City of the Legionnaires, uh, we could do that. Let's, we could assess the military, but we, we want to finish this war up first. Everything for the country. How about we study them? That seems like a good idea. Get more population, too. Or, let's do this one first. Let's do support. Dimitri Gusti. The preeminent professor and sociologist Dimitri Gusti has been carrying out important anthropological work among rural communities while showing some sympathy for the king. We will give Professor Gusti as much money as he needs to carry out his research and begin a large-scale cultural program to win over the peasantry. Our reign shall shine as brightly as the sun. So, we will end today's episode here. Even though we haven't quite won this war yet, that's still okay in my mind because, well, it's going to take a while anyways. But if you enjoyed today's episode, consider leaving maybe a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already. And I will see you tomorrow as we shall tighten up some sort of censorship. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.